Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of J. Bob and Sons. Today we're doing something really special and fun, I think, as we're going to do a comparison of baseball cards and Pokemon cards. Um, I have a lot of buddies here now on, on YouTube who always see the Pokemon cards when they're going hunting for baseball cards, and some of my Pokemon content creators are um, been watching my baseball content, and then I have baseball card only guys that are asking me questions about Pokemon. So. I thought it'd be really fun to do a comparison of the two today on this video, and this will be sort of like uh, a comparison of the value. So I picked up these these packs. I got four of each from my local Rite Aid, and they were $4.99 a piece. Okay, so um, if you're looking about per card, that's 14 cents per card for the baseball cards and 49 cents per card for the Pokemon cards. So as far as initial value is concerned, you are getting more cards uh, for your money baseball but we'll figure that out um, at the end as far as value uh, with ever which um, which packs have the cards with the highest value is what I'll be sort of searching for so we'll pull out the hit cards and f try to figure out which set which baseball baseball or uh, Pokemon cards are the best as far as uh, value and I'll just go off of recent eBay sales for that so into the baseball here we are um, so we're going through, um, and uh, with with this Topps Series 2, we're really looking for Luis Robert will be the biggest hit card here, and any um, really cool inserts we'll also be looking for. Like right here, we have um, uh, Mejias uh, Braun. This is a gold card and rookie card, which is actually really cool. Um, I did look up the price of that, and it was only about two or three bucks. So we have some inserts here. Uh, we got the turkey red, which is pretty cool. Turkey red cards. Um, this is a rookie card of Davis, and actually a Willie Mays. So here in Series Two, we're getting the turkey reds of some of the throwback and uh, older Hall of Famers, which is kind of nice. Um, unfortunately, none of, the, none of those cards are worth uh, that much money, so we won't even consider them. But you can see that Luis Robert sitting there back uh, behind my uh, background. That's the big card. Where here's a Wallet rookie card. Um, here's a Castro rookie card. Um, but none of these rookie cards, uh, other than the Luis Robert, are really um, that valuable, at least currently. So that's what we'll be going off of for this comparison. So I appreciate you guys watching. So let's. There's Luis Arreyes. Um, that's a good card. Good player. Tucker, Seeger. Felt like that that card was thicker. Um, anyway, um, Angels team card, uh, Rodriguez, Bowers, Matt Beatty. Nice. I like that. Looks like a short print, but I don't think it is. Uh, Daz rookie card, Anderson, and here's another gold card, which is kind of nice. Again, these gold cards in the set are about two bucks a piece. This is a pretty sweet Kyle Lewis rookie card. I do like Kyle Lewis. Approximate uh, eBay sales, about $2 for that card. So these are some of my hit cards uh, for sure that I'm going to consider when we're thinking about the comparison of value between Pokemon. Here's Albert Pujols to end that pack uh, when we're thinking about the comparison of value. Okay, so Newman, O'Grady, we got Garrett Cole, Duval. Baltimore Orioles team card, Texas Rangers team card. We got a rookie card there of Akiyama. Um, we got Chu, Irvin. Uh, let's see. JD Davis, Voids, Catterwood. So come on, I'm really hoping for a Luis Robert. Uh, because that will really be in, um, putting baseball as pretty competitive. This is a cool uh, hollow of Bruxton. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be worth that much money right now. Uh, another insert here. Here's some of our um, brown. And ooh, that's a cool Ken Griffey Jr. Turkey Red. Um, only worth like a dollar. Um, so, finish up that pack. So anyway, I just got this idea again because I do have friends that ask me about Pokemon cards that 
are only breaking baseball, and um, and you know I, I have some Pokemon only content creators that you know say that they watch my videos because they're interested in the baseball. So hey, this is both in one video, and so we'll see how it does. <laughs> uh, Hazley here. This is our last pack. So we're hoping for a Luis Robert it would be a nice hit. Um, let's see. There's Davis again. Reese Hoskins there. Sutter, Low, and Heineman, uh, Santana. Oh, I, I love this Mookie Betts. And oh, check this out. We got a hit. Uh, William Ostu Ostiello, and that's out of 300. So this is a advanced stats card. So that's a three dollar card, which is pretty cool. Um, I really like that Tops in Series Two has inserted these backwards. Um, I missed this advanced stats card in series one like all over the place <laughs> um, And here's a gold card of Hill and that's a two dollar card uh, So not too bad. So we are pulling some nice gold cards and as far as baseball cards go these would be pretty decent hits um, Turkey Reds here um, Then we got a Kim rookie card Lopez Allard and Frazier to finish up the baseball all right, so um, got a several bucks of value here um, from the gold cards and baseball, but let's check out the Pokemon cards. So this is a set called Sword and Shield, and those Pokemon friends of mine that are watching this know all about Sword and Shield. Um, and again, these are just the packs I found at Rite Aid, and they're equivalently, uh, they cost about the same, right? They're $4.99 a piece for either pack. So let's check these out. We got Wooloo, Joltik, Sandlet. Flabus, Ghastly, Billpug, Cloister is our rare, and it's a non-hollow. And so I know it's a rare card because it has this black star. And that's going to be basically the hit card of the pack. These cards are called Reverse Hollow, and they can also be really cool. It's got the shiny part uh, on the outside of the card, not on the inside art. Okay? <clears throat> so every pack of Pokemon cards is going to have... Um, maybe like a reverse hollow and it's going to have a rare card that's going to have that star so that's what you're looking for in these kinds of packs and every now and then you hit a real a real whopper and um, so that's what we're hoping for when, we're, when we pick up Pokemon cards and that's why they're so addicting <laughs> so here we got Krabby um, we got Grookey, Mub, Mudbray, Pinchurin, Mau, Mauile and oh my Goodness, Zakion V Gold. This is <laughs> okay. Wow, this is this card sold raw right now. Just the card, seventy bucks. The last three eBay eBay sales, the average sale price was seventy bucks. Now, if I get this graded up and it comes back in a high grade like PSA ten. This is a $250 to $300 card. So in this entire set called Sword and Shield, there's only like five uh, really valuable, super secret rare gold cards. And we just hit <laughs> one of them. You can see the star here and also the numbering. So it says 211 out of 202. That means that there's 202 official cards in this set. and any any number above that means it's called a secret rare so this is a gold secret rare Zekion V which is one of the, just a monster hit as far as Pokemon goes and this is exactly why I buy Pokemon cards you guys I got into it with my son but man I am hooked and it's because of hits like that so um, we'll get through the rest of these packs and see but I'm not even gonna have to do a breakdown Basically, Pokemon crushed this competition, and it's because of that Zacchaeus V card. Now, if I pulled like a Luis Robert Gold card, because that's a possibility, or a Hollow, we would have had a competition here. But man, that is just insane. So, got Gengar, and here's another hit. This is a Regirock V, but that's only like a two-dollar card. And that Gengar, that's a Reverse Hollow. That's a two-dollar card. So you could see in other circumstances. They might be pretty comparable, Pokemon versus baseball. You got some two dollars. That's a rare. You said it's like a rare. It's got this star there. This also has a star, so it's a rare, rare card. 
Um, <clears throat> so those are about two bucks, right? Each card, just like we were finding the $2 gold cards here in baseball. All right, so we got the last pack of Pokemon cards, guys. Um, see if we can pull up some more fire. Um, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you think this is an interesting experiment like I do. Definitely leave me uh, some of your feedback in the comments below. So we got Muna, we got Snowm, we got Team Yell Grunt is a reverse hollow, and ah, we got Snorlax. It's a rare, but it's a non hollow, um, so not that valuable, but still a cool card. In those last cards, we had the Slazzle. Uh, metal saucer and a Rotan bike. Okay, so those are our Pokemon cards. Absolutely crushed it, you guys. Pokemon card, that Zekion V gold card is one of the most sought after cards of that set. Unbelievable that I just pulled it. Um, kind of blew all these baseball cards out of the water. Um, but you know, these are pretty nice gold cards. And we have a advanced stats card. The advanced stats cards are pretty fun because um, uh, it's a nice numbered card. But man, look at this beauty. Absolutely insane. So um, I just wanted to thank you so much for watching this. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will say that pretty much, uh, you know, some some critiques of this comparison would be that like, hey, Series 2 isn't a great set. There's not a lot of great rookie cards other than Luis Robert. And I think that's fair and that's valid. Um, um, however, I would argue that, look, it, you know, if this was Series 1 or, you know, 2019 Tops Update with, with, with more rookie cards, you'd still be hard to find a card that's going to, right off the bat, be, you know, worth 70 bucks like we just found in the Pokemon. So, um, we got really lucky today. Um, Pokemon did crush. <laughs> but, hey, we'll do maybe this again, uh, especially if you guys think it's interesting. And so, hey, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.